Have you ever seen a plant that eats bugs? Sounds like something from a sci-fi movie, right? But guess what? It's real. Today, we're diving into the mysterious world of carnivorous plants. The plants that don't just sit in the sun, they hunt. Are you ready to meet some of nature's hungriest hunters? Let's go. Most plants get their food from sunlight, water, and the soil. But what if the soil is poor and doesn't have enough nutrients? That's where carnivorous plants come in. Instead of just absorbing nutrients from the ground, they have developed special traps to catch and eat tiny creatures, like insects, spiders, and even small frogs. But how do they catch their food? Let's take a look at their amazing traps. Meet the Venus flytrap, one of the most famous carnivorous plants in the world. Look at those spiky green jaws. They may look like tiny mouths, but they're actually modified leaves that snap shut when a bug touches them. When an insect lands inside, the Venus flytrap counts to two before snapping shut. That's right, it has tiny hairs inside that must be touched twice within a few seconds. This stops the plant from wasting energy on things like raindrops or dirt. Once it's caught, the trap slowly digests its meal over the next five to 12 days. Then it opens back up and waits for its next victim. Now let's meet the pitcher plant, a sneaky hunter that lures bugs with sweet-smelling nectar. The pitcher plant looks like a big cup, but inside it's full of digestive juices. Insects come for a tasty drink, but uh-oh, the walls are super slippery. The bug loses its grip and plop, it falls inside. Once inside, there's no way out. The plant slowly digests the insect, turning it into plant food. Some pitcher plants are so big they can even catch frogs, lizards, and small mice. Next, let's meet the sundew plant, the glue trap of the carnivorous plant world. See those sparkling droplets on its leaves? They may look like tiny water drops, but they're actually super sticky glue. When an insect lands, it gets stuck. The more it struggles, the more tangled it becomes. The sundew slowly curls its leaves around the bug and starts digesting it. It's like a big sticky hug, but not a very friendly one. But wait, some carnivorous plants don't grow on land at all. Meet the bladderwort, an underwater plant with the fastest trap in the world. The bladderwort has tiny bladders that work like vacuums. When a bug swims too close, whoosh, it gets sucked in, and the trap closes in just one thousandth of a second. That's faster than the blink of an eye. But why do these plants need to eat bugs? Carnivorous plants grow in places where the soil is poor in nutrients, like bogs, swamps, and rainforests. Since they can't get enough food from the ground, they've adapted to catch insects instead.
Some pitcher plants are so big, they can trap frogs and even small mice. The Venus flytrap only closes about five times in its life, so it has to be careful. Carnivorous plants have been around for over 65 million years. That means they lived during the time of the dinosaurs. Carnivorous plants may be fierce, but they need our help. Some of them are endangered because of habitat destruction and people taking them from the wild. If we protect nature, these amazing plants will keep thriving for years to come. So, what did we learn today? Carnivorous plants are nature's tiny hunters. They snap, stick, suck, and trick their way into catching food. Which one was your favorite? Thanks for joining us on this wild adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing nature discoveries. See you next time, little explorers.